Hey everyone, welcome to a new video of DeFi Weekly. This time we're talking about how MTA works based on uh, someone who requested it in the comments. So shows if you uh, ask for the video, I'll definitely make it. <laughs> um, so mstable. Before I get into how mstable works, I actually want to talk about what a constant sum AMM is. And once you understand how that works, we can talk about how mstable works and then finally the question on everyone's mind is how can you actually earn mstable through your local liquidity mining farming program? <laughs> All right, so a constant sum AMM. Uh, what's, okay. Suppose we have two token quantities over here. I say token A and token B. Now, in your traditional kind of uh, Uniswap or what we call a constant product AMM, which is X times Y equals K, you get curve. Uh, let me just copy. Oops. Let me just copy this. Uh, cool. So, in your constant product curve, uh, which is what Uniswap uses, you end up with something kind of like this and that means that as you move from one point of the curve to another it gets more expensive um, and the way you determine the price is the gradient of the curve so as you can see like as you're moving up over here the gradient is much steeper than where it is over here and uh, the properties of this mean essentially it's kind of uh, infinite liquidity is a kind of say Right, and I put that in uh, quote, quotation marks because it's not really infinite. It just gets infinitely more expensive to the point where nobody's ever going to pay that much for the very last token. <laughs> um, so that's a constant product curve. Now, a constant sum curve is more simple. It's just a straight line, and it's just x plus y equals k. So if I move from this point on the curve to this point, as you can see, the gradient uh, is always the same, regardless of where you are in the curve. So uh, I think just for, in case you haven't watched the curve finance um, video, the way curve finance works, uh, they go for a cross between it, which is like a, it's a, this kind of curve. So it's like flat at some portions, but then it gets kind of like very skewed at the edges. So. Anyway, if you want to learn more, just jump on to the how curve.fi video works on my channel. Um, anyway, going back to mstable. So mstable uses a constant sum uh, AMM formula. And yeah, it means that the price is the same, but also so you're guaranteeing that every token is equal one to one at face value, which I think is a bit of a... Mm, I'm a bit skeptical of it because some uh, tokens aren't always meant to be worth $1 because there's more uh, demand for them or they actually should be premium stable coins. But anyway, like that's a very subjective opinion and uh, I'd keep it out of this uh, conversation. The main thing to know is that like for uh, regular healthy stable coins, you can assume a one-to-one -one ratio. So going into how mstable works. Um, cool. So the main idea around mstable is that you can use your USDC, you can use your USDT, uh, and you can use your DAI, and essentially you can throw it inside mstable over here and mstable will spit out for you essentially uh, one MUSD token, right? And the whole idea is that one MUSD is always equal to one USDC, which is equal to one USDT, and so on and so on, right? And that's kind of like the one phase of it. Now, the other bit is that uh, when you deposit these stable coins to mstable, uh, mstable will 
then uh, get your let's say crypto dollars which have gone here and it will then figure out uh, where to spit it out to to earn interest so this might be like compound this might be Aave and this might be like say DYDX or some other kind of uh, lending protocol but essentially all of this like interest which is being accrued goes inside the M stable system and who gets all of the interest well surprise surprise there is an M stable token who essentially accrues all of this interest and these M stable holders uh, kind of in turn provide uh, governance uh, for the system through parameters they earn a portion of the fees and they're meant to make sure that the safety of this protocol uh, remains at all times and I think uh, one kind of cool design of M stable which I appreciate uh, is that in the case that like let's say um, USDT uh, blows up because the market finds out that there's only one tether for every 10, there's only one dollar for every 10 tether, tethers that get created, right? So imagine this got like completely uh, wrecked. <laughs> now, suddenly what would happen is it would mean that the system is in a 33% shortfall. And uh, this is kind of where the M stable governance token comes in, where in the case of a shortfall like this, uh, the M stable protocol will actually mint more M stable tokens. Well, let me change that to purple. It'll actually mint more M stable tokens and then essentially sell them on the open market to then pay back uh, the debt that was created, right? So in that way, sure, if you have a stable coin, you can create a more stabler stable coin. That's a whole value proposition. And in return for the interest which you forego, uh, you then actually earn um, a portion of uh, the fees which are accrued, but you also have significant downside risk that if something does go wrong, uh, you essentially like take on that uh, risk. And I think the next evolution, like M stable's roadmap, from like the brief stuff that I've read, is that like you have this whole system for U.S. dollars. You can then do the same thing for surprise, surprise Bitcoin variants. So you can get like your Ren BTC, your Wrapped BTC, and your Keep BTC. Roll it up inside one, uh, and then you get like an M stable. Uh, BTC, I think they call it MBTC. I'm not sure, but anyway, that's kind of like the general idea of it. Um, now, how can you earn M stable? So I'm not actively yield farming M stable personally. So like, uh, I would didn't fully trust what I have to say, but uh, the general idea from what I've heard or what I've read from their blog posts. Uh, is that you can earn it by um, minting, uh, I think, minting M stable uh, US dollars itself. So if you lock up your DAI and mint in MUSD, I think uh, there's a portion of rewards you earn. And then I think if you provide liquidity for uh, M stable. Uh, and I think USDC or USDT on uh, balancer, then you'll earn balancer tokens and M stable tokens. So that's like a two in one. And I think the APR right now is like uh, in the mid tens of percent. So uh, it's interesting if you believe in the project. Um, and yeah, I think like that's probably mainly it around M stable. M stable. It's not anything crazy. Uh, that being said, thanks so much for tuning in and let me know what other videos you'd like to see on the channel. Uh, and yeah, hyped up. Follow me on Twitter, subscribe to the newsletter. You guys know the drill. Peace out.